That's the only way you're going to escape. Is by the Lord delivering you, having mercy on you and delivering you. See what I'm saying? Go ahead, bro. And shall be on the mountains like doves of the valleys, and all of them mourning every one for, the, for his iniquity. See? All you people here are going to be mourning for your sins, for the transgression of the laws. The laws of what? The Bible. Go ahead, bro. All hands shall be feeble, and all knees shall be weak as water. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. I'm scared out here. I just, I'm pretty glad to see all you niggas said they ain't scared of that. I'm, we gon' see. We, we gon' see, bro. Oh, Lord said, you wicked people out here, your knees are gonna be weak as water. When I read that, I was thinking about the cartoons how when they get scared, their face turn blue. And they need to get the, they need to get the shaking. That's right. Yep, real bad. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, they need to get the touching real, real fast. That's how you people gonna be, man. A fear and trembling, man. Go ahead, bro. <laughs> they shall also gird themselves with sackcloth, and horror shall cover them. See, that, that's the time of mourning when you guard yourself with sackcloth. That's a sign of mourning. There's gonna be a lot of crying and weeping out here, man. People gonna be begging, please, help me, please. I beg you, please. Then they're gonna be using biblical terms in. I pray thee, help me, please. In the name of Jesus, help me, please. Have love on your brothers. No. We ain't gonna have no love for you in the days, man. You turned your back to the Lord, so guess what? Now the Lord has turned his back towards you. Shame shall be upon all their faces and baldness upon all their heads. See? Shame, shame shall be upon all their faces, man. They're gonna be shame facing that day, man. They ain't gonna be no more proud people except the high and mighty white people. They still gonna be proud in that day. They're not gonna repent of their sin. But you average people out here, you're gonna be shame. Even some of you average people ain't gonna be ashamed. Go ahead, bro. They shall cast their silver in the streets and their gold shall be See, they're going to be trying to throw all these valuable goods, that gold and silver, into the streets to try and keep you from knocking them upside their head. They be, they're going to be begging them, I'll give you this gold bar, please don't kill me. I'll give you my daughter, my wife, let me have a sandwich, please. That's what's going to be going on them days. Go ahead, bro. And their silver and their gold shall not be able to deliver them in the day of the wrath of the Lord. And they shall not satisfy their souls, neither fill their bowels, because it is the stumbling block of their iniquity. So no matter how much gold, what type, what type of fancy rides you got, that ain't gonna save you from the destruction of the Lord, man. So that's a cut to all you prosperity pastors. Like I said, niggas gonna be scared. Like, like Crossflow Dollar? Like Crump for a dollar? I, I, I can't wait. That ain't gonna save him, man. Uh, them dollars, them last name ain't gonna mean shit. <laughs> that dollar, them name ain't gonna mean nothing. That's right. Joe Lostein, uh, what's the other T.D. Uh, Jake. Jakes. Yup. All you niggas on TV, man. Frederick K.C. Price and his son. They all money and valuables is not gonna save y'all. So they'll let you know that, that y'all are false, false prophets and false teachers, man. Because y'all are feeding the people with lies talking about prosperity. The Lord is going to bless you over and above and, and, uh, your abundance. You should have victory over uh, debt and all this. That ain't what the Lord said. The Lord just said your gold and silver is not going to be able to save you. You see what I'm saying? Uh, that's not going to save you in them days. So no, so no matter how many private jets you got, your $20 million house, your $20 million bank account, but you can see what you fail to realize. When this society collapse, $20 million ain't going to be worth nothing. The rock, man, look here, the rocks on the ground is going to be worth more than your paper dollars. You're going to be burning your paper dollars as, as a firewood to try and stay warm in them days. See what I'm saying? It's going back to the barter system when all hell break loose. You're going to be trying to trade your wife for a, a hot dog without the bun. See what I'm saying? 
for a cold, for an old moldy piece of bread, for some old moldy bacon or or uh, dirty water. See what I'm saying? Oh man, matter of fact, uh, matter of fact, that's the spirit, man. Why do you have about you now? How about you now? We're shy, man. Gotta get this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bear with me one second, I'm trying to find a scripture right quick. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to get it. Second Kings chapter 6, verse 25. That's it. Yeah, okay. Second Kings chapter 6, verse 25. Here's an example of how it's going to be in those days. Second Kings chapter 6. Hold on. Uh, yeah, Second Kings 6. Yeah. Uh yeah, start at verse 20, read verse 25. This is an example of how it's gonna be when all hell break loose. Second Kings 6 and 25. And there was a great famine in Samaria, and behold, they besieged it. Until an ass ass head was sold for four score pieces of silver. That's a donkey head. You read. And the fourth part of a calf. Of a dove's dung for five pieces of silver. So they were buying bird shit with, with silver back then in, in them days. When that famine hit Samaria, which was, was the, the land of Ham, when that famine hit, it's going to be the same thing. You people going to be trying to buy a bird's dookie with your silver and gold. That's why I told you in the scripture, your silver and gold shall not save you in the day of destruction. No matter how much money you got, that won't save you. That won't, that won't stop the Lord from destroying you. See what I'm saying? You can't buy your way from your butt kicking that's coming. You get what I'm saying? They was buying birds, Dookie, for, with silver. And that's coming again here to America. Well, that's a bad state right there. See? <laughs> that's a terrible state. When you got to buy bird dookie to try and survive, to eat, you know how little bird dookie is? Go ahead. Chapter Ezekiel, back to Ezekiel. Yeah, back to Ezekiel. Ezekiel 7, uh, 22. My face will I, I turn also from thee, and, I, I, and they shall pollute my secret place. Well, and they have polluted his secret place, which is what? His sanctuary. His temple. Back then it was a physical building. Now today it's, it's his people. We are the temple of the Lord. And this white man and these heathen nations, even two thirds of our own people, have defiled the Lord's temple. Go ahead, bro. For the robbers have entered into it and defiled it. And the robbers have entered into us and defiled our people, man. There you go. See, it ties back to the beginning. That's why you Negro, Latino, and Native Americans are getting gunned down in these streets. Go ahead, bro. 23. Make a change, for the land is full of bloody crimes and a city full of violence. And what is that? America. I tell you, Nehu, 
Woe means the death and destruction to the bloody city. It is all full of robbery and lies. And who is that? America. Forty-four. Wherefore I will bring the worst of the heathen, and they shall possess their houses. I will also make a pump of the strong seed. Now who is who is the worst of, worst of the heathen? You white people. You have entered into our house. Did you not do that with the Native Americans and the Latino uh, tribes when they came here to America? You still doing that today. By the form of what? Evictions. Repossessions. See what I'm saying? You get behind your rent, what happens? You get evicted. You can't pay for your personal property tax on your home, what happens? You get foreclosed on. And then what? Somebody else moving to your house. Or, let's say, you're doing a so-called illegal activity, what happened? The white man come and kick your door in and snatch you out your home and then resell your house because now it become property of the state once again. See what I'm saying? Go ahead, bro. Destruction, I mean, 25. Destruction coming and they shall seek peace and there shall be done. See? Like the scripture say, there's no peace to the wicked. When destruction comes, you people are going to be trying to seek peace and won't be able to find it. Why? Because you didn't take heed to when we were giving you the peace, which is the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding of this Bible right here. This is the only thing that can give you peace in this troublesome land, man. 26. Mischief shall come upon mischief, and rumor shall be upon rumor. Hey, is that, did it not say in Matthew 24 that you should hear wars and rumors of war? So there's rumors of wars going on right now. Is it not? See what I'm saying? Then they shall seek a vision of the prophet, but the law shall perish from the from the priest and the council from the ancients. And that happened in 70 AD, but that's happening again now. Because you have a lot of people that's that was in this truth back when it first started, now they ain't in the truth no more. See what I'm saying? So guess what? They have lost their way. But now, the Lord has put the spirit of our apostles, who was back then also, they're men of the ancients to what? Keep pushing this truth. Now we have hope in this God-forsaken land. Through the spirit and power of your house by Shimei Go ahead, bro. 27. The king shall mourn, and the princes shall be clothed with desolation. And the kings will mourn. Who is the kings? The Rothschilds, the 13 elite banking families, and what is said about the princes? Princes shall be clothed with desolation. And, and what is one of the princes? Obama. Say it shall be clothed with what? Desolation. See what I'm saying? And we're also considered princes. And guess what? We've also been hit with desolation. And that happened in 70 AD, just like it's happening now. Like I said, there's no new thing under the sun, like I tell you in Ecclesiastes. So the same thing that happened back then is going to happen now, and it's already happening now. Like it's telling you in Romans 15 and 4, everything that was written aforetime was written for our learning. So that's why we bring our scriptures to what? So you can learn from the ways of the past to help you with the ways of the future to be prepared for what? War. Because war is coming. Go ahead, bro. And the hands of the people of the land shall be troubled. I will do unto them after their way, and according to their desert deserts will I judge them. And that according to their des deserts will I judge them. And they shall know that I am the Lord. What is their deserts? They're, they're goodly and costly things. They're, they're pleasurable things. Because a dessert is what? Something sweet tasty it's like a treat to you so that treat is how the lord going to judge them these people that have proud spirits with their little fancy cars and fancy homes the lord is going to punish you and destroy you man why because you're not thinking about the lord all you're thinking about is what getting more prosperity and getting more wealth in this in this wicked kingdom i have no problem with gays to each his own the lord is going to kill you see what i'm saying supporting what Gay businesses. Oh, I'm a, I'm a straight man, but I just like to go here because their fries are good. The Lord is going to kill you. 
See what I'm saying? Because you're supposed to hate all manner of wickedness. As the scripture tell you, hate the evil and love the good. But you people, vice versa, you hate the good and love the evil. So the Lord is going to kill you. Point blank, period. What you got, bro? No, you going to say something. What you got? Okay. So with that, another beautiful lesson out here on the highways and byways. We want to give all praise and glory and honor to the Heavenly Father and the Son, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. And much love, peace, and blessing to all your elect brothers out there that's pushing this truth out of love and sincerity. Death to America. Death to America. Hey, uh, death to Indianapolis. Death to Indianapolis. Quan Rashi Allah. Oh, man. The water, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. There go my boy, man. Look at him. There go my boy. Hey, Shalom, bro. How you doing, man? What's going on, man? How you doing? That's you. Oh, doing, man. man. I heard you from the crib. Yeah, he, he, he from here. Yeah, yeah, he yeah, from here. Me too, me too. This the brother I've been coming out uh, with. Okay. This is the brother Ash, yeah. Yeah, you was out here. Yeah, yeah. You know, I'm on my way to an event. You know, I'll be calling, but you know, I'll be busy and shit. But, you know, I'm still trying, Hey, I'm good. You know, one day at a time, man. Hey, that's you know, beautiful. It look good on you, man. Yo, it look yo, yo, good. Yo. One day at a time, man. Hey, I hate, yeah. I, I hate right. to smash and dash, man. Hey, we understand, bro. I hate bro. to smash and dash, Good man. to see you again, bro. All right, man. Hey, you looking good, bro. Wow. Hey, with that, uh, Kwam Yasha Allah. Kwam Yasha Allah. Kwam Bakar. Kwam Bakar. Shalom. Shalom. Wow, man.